Attack on Titan, 10 Darkest Points in the Story, Ranked Attack on Titan is a series famed for its traumatic twists and shocking scenes. These moments, however, are undeniably the darkest it has to offer. The very first episode of Attack on Titan reveals the gloomy world its characters are forced to inhabit, beset on all sides by the savage beasts known as Titans. Although humanity within the walls has experienced an era of relative peace prior to the events of the narrative. The destruction of Shiganshina turns everyone's lives into a nightmare. And it only gets worse after this point. Choosing the darkest points in a storyline that is riddled with carnivorous horror seems like an exercise in futility. But there are a few moments that are significantly more tragic than others. 10. The Titans Inside the Walls are Revealed King Carl Fritz builds walls Maria, Rose, and Sheena after the Great Titan War in order to protect the remaining members of the Eldian race from the world's wrath. He then proceeds to wipe their cultural and historical memories, leaving behind a population that has no clue about its past. Therefore, it comes as a rude shock when a Titan's face is seen leering through a hole in wall Rose after it is damaged by the female Titan. The discovery is kept secret for as long as possible to prevent the citizenry from devolving into mass hysteria. 9. Reiner flips between cold-blooded killer and loving friend. Reiner is unable to reconcile his crimes as a Marlian warrior and his affections for the people of parody, fragmenting his mind in the process, with the cold. Calculating half sees nothing wrong with throwing people to the titans without mercy, but the loving side is paradoxically affected by the loss of his friends. Reiner leaves Marco Bot to be eaten alive while lamenting his death barely a few minutes later. This bizarre juxtaposition is jarring to everyone who observes it. 8. Aaron makes Porco kill his own ally. The Jaw and Warhammer Titans struggle to stave off the attack Titan in Liberio, succeeding despite Eren's attempts to capture them. Unfortunately, the scouts arrive in the nick of time to save their friend, turning the tide of battle against Marley. Mikasa incapacitates Porco Galliard's Titan body, allowing Eren to rip both his arms off below the elbow. The truly gruesome moment occurs when the attack titan stuffs Lara Tiber's crystalline cocoon into Porco's mouth and uses the jaw titan's biting force to extract the essence of the war hammer titan. 7. The Devastation in Trost The 104th Training Corps of the Scout Regiment bear witness to the second arrival of the Colossus Titan and the resulting surge of pure titans into Trost District. Given that they're all freshly out of boot camp, none of them are mentally prepared for the visceral horror of dealing with a full-fledged titan attack. As a consequence, the trainees begin to falter and inevitably lose themselves to the surrounding monsters. Aaron is especially traumatized by the event, and this is the point when he triggers his first attack titan transformation. 6. The Female Titan Massacres the Scouts the female titan wreaks havoc by agitating nearby pure titans into attacking the 57th expedition, leading to countless avoidable deaths. Although she doesn't kill Armin after recognizing him, she exhibits zero sympathy for anyone else, callously squashing soldiers like they're nothing more than insects in her path. The scouts somehow manage to capture the female titan, but their hopes are dashed when she breaks out of their trap and decimates Levi's special operations squad in her bid to capture the founding titan. 5. Connie realizes what happened to his mother. Connie is distraught to learn that his hometown of Ragako is destroyed, more so because everyone in the village mysteriously disappears. The only clue left behind is a paralyzed titan who looks a lot like his mother. Hang confirms Connie's suspicions, destroying any semblance of hope, forcing him to take drastically unethical steps to restore his mother to human form. Fortunately, Armin's attempted sacrifice saves Connie from a lifetime of guilt. 4. The Titan Eye Looming Over a Thirsty Jelgar 
Jelgar is a member of Mike Zacharias' squad sent to investigate the sudden appearance of pure titans inside Walrose. He eventually reaches Utgard Castle, where he and Nanaba desperately try to stave off a wave of marauding titans. After being flung into the tower, Jelgar realizes that his death is imminent and decides to make the best of his last moments by having a swig of alcohol from a bottle he had recently discovered. As luck would have it, there is nothing left in the bottle, and a morose Jelgar dies without satisfying his final desire. 3. Mike Zacharias Dies a Lonely Death Mike Zacharias is the finest combatant in the scouts, second only to Levi Ackerman, partly because of his innate ability to smell titans long before they can be visually perceived. However, the arrival of the beast titan unnerves him to the point of losing his confidence, especially when it speaks using human language. Mike's terror is magnified tenfold and the beast titan interrogates him, rendering him speechless. This consequently irritates Seek, so he commands the pure titans to finish Mike off. 2. Aaron's mom is eaten in front of him. Carla Yeager's death is arguably one of the most devastating moments in Attack on Titan, serving as the basis of Eren's boundless vengeance against all Titan kind. During the attack on Shiganshina in the first episode, Carla is immobilized when the roof of her house collapses on top of her. Hannes fails to extricate her from her predicament. So he flees the scene with Eren and Mikasa. Carla is thankful that her children are safe, but she is soon crushed and consumed by the smiling titan as Aaron watches helplessly. 1. The rumbling destroys the world. The rumbling is by far the worst series of events to take place in the storyline, as it overwhelms the planet and destroys over 80% of the world's population. Since the combined efforts of the global military have no effect on the Colossus Titan's rampage, innocent lives are snuffed out in a macabre spectacle of blood and gore. This unprecedented genocide is described in horrific detail in the manga. With hordes of screaming people trampled mercilessly into the ground. 